You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Over the past several weeks, we have uh, certainly celebrated a lot of the wins for the LSU class of 2025. As a matter of fact, on Thursday, right here in studio, uh, we had Keelan Moses for two uh, for two segments as um, he has been really the primary recruiter of that 2025 class, among the recruits anyway. Well, the class of 2025 lost a commitment today. It's uh, cornerback Jalen Bell, who earlier today shared on social media that uh, he is uh, withdrawing his commitment from LSU and um, asked everybody to respect his decision. He'll pursue other options. When I um, when I kind of spell this out, I think it'll become really clear um, what happened here. So um, Jalen Bell is uh, he's out of Georgia, out of the state of Georgia, and he committed in November of 2022. So that was November of his sophomore season. So right around the time, L November of 22, when LSU beat Alabama at home in November of 22, that's when Jalen Bell committed. He was the first commit of the 2025 class. And since then, we've seen, you know, some real blue chippers come into the 2025 class. Um, Jalen Bell is a three-star defensive back. He is 5'10", 160. And he is rated as the number 485 overall prospect in the country. Uh, he's the 55th best cornerback and the 50th best player in the state of Georgia. Do you kind of get my drift? Um, I'll I'll just I'll just blur I'll just say it. So LSU took his commitment when he was a sophomore in high school, and he has now gone through his junior year. And as I was told earlier today, he actually didn't even start for his high school team as a junior. He's ranked in the five hundreds nationally. And when you look at the LSU class or the class that LSU is building for 2025, it's pretty apparent. Like when you go up and down the list of the 2025 commitments, um, there's Bryce Underwood, five-star, number one player in the country, DeCorey and Moore, five-star, number one, number one receiver, Harlem Berry, uh, a five-star, the number one running back, Jabori Antoine, a four-star, number 45 nationally, Devin Harper, uh, the, the seventh best player at his position in the country, Akeelan Moses, a top 200 guy. J.D. LaFleur, a four-star tight end. You understand? Brett Bordelon, a four-star offensive lineman. Teron Francis, a four-star wide receiver out of out of a car in New Orleans. Like, there was one real outlier, and it was, it was Jalen Bell. Listen, sometimes you take a commitment, and as the recruiting process goes along, you continue the evaluation. And if it doesn't look like there's going to be a fit, you have that candid conversation. And that's clearly what happened here. LSU replaced his entire defensive staff. Brian Polian was the recruiting coordinator at the time. Remember, this is the Brian Polian that I told you got on a plane to fly to Bishop Gorman in Las Vegas to recruit a three-star cornerback. This is LSU. You don't have to fly over states to find three-star cornerbacks. They're everywhere. Okay. So you have a new staff in here. They're reevaluating, and it's pretty clear what happened. I was like, hey, look, you should probably find another spot. So, yeah, he can put out there that he's decommitting, and uh, for if maybe that, you know, however it saves face, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's that's the game that a lot of kids play, and it's fine. Whatever, it's fine. But it's just very clear there's a different standard. Remember, LSU for 2024 had taken commitments from Andre Evans and Kai Bates, two kids from – private schools in Nashville and Orlando, respectively, that got purged out of this 24 class. And instead, they went and signed P.J. Woodland and Bernard Causey, a kid from Hattiesburg and a kid from New Orleans. Like, it, it goes that way sometimes. LSU's got to raise its standards. 
I mean, y'all want to talk about what is compared to what was and all the Corey Raymond convo? What I remember is Corey Raymond was recruiting Derek Stingley, Eli Ricks, Dwight McGlothern, Jay Ward, Cordell Flott, a bunch of NFL dudes. You ain't had dudes that look like that since he's gone. You got to raise the standard again. And that's what this is, and that's clearly what they're doing. One other thing to keep an eye on with respect to the cornerback room for 2024, the 2024 season, I think you're going to see more guys. We've gone over the numbers. In my very, again, very, very, very unofficial scholarship count, LSU's around 90, so they're going to have to lose a handful of players just to get within the compliance of, of 85, right? Well, look, LaTerrence Welch, Denver Harris, Deuce Chestnut, they, they've all transferred, right? So you lost those three, but... Zy Alexander, J.K. Johnson, Ashton Stamps, Jeremiah Hughes, Ryan Robinson, say Ryan if you want to count him as a corner, that's six. Jair Brown, you just brought in his seven. Then the free, three freshmen, Woodland, Juwan Johnson, Bernard Causey. You got 10. You have 10 cornerbacks on this team right now. 10. And they may want to add another starter via the portal. So when you're looking at, okay, where might, to get within roster compliance, where might they lose a player? That's a Pretty good spot to start. You know, players where you have a lot of bodies. Receiver, corner, offensive line. Some dudes that are far down the depth chart, those may be the ones after spring who hit the portal. Just something worth keeping an eye on because you don't need 10 cornerbacks. Uh, and certainly when a bunch of them haven't even shown you they're capable of playing at this level yet. So we'll keep an eye on that part of it. But... Uh, the update, Jalen Bell out of Georgia, three-star defensive back, who was LSU's first commitment for 2025, has left the class of 2025. And, and when you've already got you know, one of the top corners in the country committed now, Jabari Antoine, you had the number one safety on campus this week in, uh, in J.D. Pickett, you can tell LSU has raised the bar. They've raised the standard, and they're, they're clearing that bar still right now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.